What's up you guys, DanaBeast94 here, coming back at you uh, with another video. I know, so soon, right? But um, I had an interesting topic that browsed my mind last night, and I figured, why not incorporate it into a video? Matter of fact, why not make it a tag video? So, I'm tagging four people. Markboy316, the Rick Del Santo, um, Whitestoner420, and the Relaxing Ghost. Um, if any of you other guys are interested in doing this video, by, by all means, um, feel free to do so. So, this video, if you were a manager, and you had a chance to pick five people for your own Survivor Series team, who would those five people be, why, and what would your Survivor Series team name be? Well, I already got my Survivor Series team, uh, the name at least, uh, the Kingdom Hearts. And I'm going to name the five people right off the bat right now. First person that comes to mind is the late great Owen Hart. He's going to be the captain of this team. Why? Obviously you guys know why, because he's my favorite superstar of all time. And, you know, 1994 King of the Ring winner. Multi-time multi, uh, multi -time Intercontinental Tag Team Champion, European Champion, um, two-time Slammy Award winner. And, uh, you know, after watching the recent Dark Side of the Ring episode, I really got to understand a lot more about Owen outside his career. And, unfortunately, a lot more about his tragedy. But... That doesn't mean, you know, that doesn't mistake me for him being one of my all-time favorites. Because he'll always go down as one of my favorites of all time. So, he'll definitely lead the charge for my Survivor Series team. Coming in as my co-captain, we have uh, the American hero, you know, Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. Uh, you know, backstory with Angle, I've met him multiple times. And he shares a connection with Owen. Uh, he was in one of Owen's final matches before his death. And one of the dark matches he had with Angle, he actually went backstage and told the people backstage, this is a future world heavyweight champion. And there's also photos of uh, Owen and Kurt together. And in my opinion, Survivor Series 99... Kurt Angle's debut match at Survivor Series should have been Owen Hart, if Owen were to have lived. So, um, I mean, almost all these people that I have on my list share connections, but you can feel free to add whichever members you want. So it must be five people, guys. Um, next person that comes to mind is Edge, who made a comeback uh, this past year in 2020 at the Royal Rumble, WrestleMania. Uh, he will be competing again at Backlash against Orton, which that honestly baffles me because that really makes no sense because the rivalry should have ended at WrestleMania. But, you know, looking back at Edge's career, you know, he trained down in Stu Hart's dungeon for a bit before being called up by WWE. Um, I believe it was actually Bret Hart who um, suggested WWE, like, hey, you should take a look at this kid. Um, along with, uh, like, Christian and Test and so forth. But, um, he did share connections with Owen on the road. Um, one of my favorite Owen Hart and Edge matches was them against each other at Breakdown 98. So, definitely add Edge, um, to my team here. Just because, you know, he's overcome so much. And the fact that... He's coming back to in-ring competition. He came back to in-ring competition after, you know, almost 10 years away from the business. Um, it's a miracle. Fourth man I have on this list. Fourth man is the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, who also shares connections with Owen Hart because not only did he also train um, in Stu Hart's dungeon, but he shared the ring with Owen as part of the nation which, in my opinion, I still don't think that was a good move 
for them to put Owen in another faction when he was just close. You know, he was so close to being one of those main event guys in 98. And um, as I'm watching one of the old Raws right now, the last episode that I just watched, Credible main event had um, Undertaker and Stone Cold taking on the Rock and Owen Hart in the main event for the WWF Tag Team titles. And um, that right there should have solidified Owen's career um, as a main eventer. Because I think by 98, the four top guys should have been Austin, Undertaker, Rock, and Owen. But, like I said, that's just my opinion. And I've met Mark Henry once. One hell of a guy. Very nice. Very engaging. And um, that's why he's on my list. And plus, you know, we need some backup. We need some, you know, we need our shield. So, got Mark Henry here. Fifth guy I have on this list is a curveball. You guys might think, why the hell would you add him? But, just incredible. Just incredible. Um, he's actually from my hometown. I mentioned it before. Um, at least I believe I've mentioned it before. But yeah, he's at, he actually lives here in my city. And um, I always found him underrated. You know, he was one of the greatest um, superstars in ECW. Former ECW champion. And the dude just packs a lot of charisma. And, and the fact that he really didn't... Um, go anywhere in the WWE, um, I mean, it kind of doesn't shock me, but at the same time, it's always nice to see somebody from your hometown doing something big, which, you know, incorporates the message that anything's possible, and you can do anything you put your mind to. So that's why Just Incredible is on this list. Those are my five guys. Uh, for those of you who are tagged, um, you know, good luck, you know, I'm very, uh, be very happy to see, um, who you guys, uh, add to your list, uh, should be interesting, uh, just don't forget, it's five guys, and you must have a backup reason for why you are choosing those five guys, and you must have a Survivor Series team. Uh, name or Survivor Series team name. So, mine is the Kingdom Hearts. Um, obviously, that's kind of a reference to the Kingdom Hearts video game, but obviously, I'm incorporating uh, Hearts last name the way it's spelt. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, was this an interesting video? Was this an interesting topic? Um, yeah, you know. I'm just going to keep them coming, guys. And until next time, the end of Beast 94, signing off.